Well, howdy folks, Mark here. Welcome to the channel. Just got back from the Daytona 24 hour. If you haven't seen some of the footage that I have of the various events, check them out on my channel. I filmed some really cool stuff. I think you might enjoy. Anyhow, so what have we got here? This is an Audi Sport Dealer Edition Audi R8 LMS from the Bathurst 12 hour in 2016. Like the Porsche dealership events and the Mercedes that you've seen that I have, this is one of those. And although it was hard to find any markings on it, I found on the inside label that this was produced by Spark. Not a big surprise. Now you see the Audi label there. I pull it up, zoom in there, and you see Minimax at Spark. Now these dealer edition models typically do not come with the wood base that you get with the regular edition. You get these plastic bases that are raised. Uh, they usually have all the information you'd expect from a Spark model on it. It also comes with a nice oversized acrylic jewel cover. Now those of you familiar with the Audi R8 know that it was manufactured and designed by Audi AG and introduced in 1999 for the 24 Hours of Le Mans. It features a mid-mounted, naturally aspirated V10 engine producing 585 horsepower or 435 kilowatts. Now this particular model, if you take a close look at it, it is the 2A, is run by German team Phoenix Racing. And it kind of has the colors of a Phoenix, bright orange and red, although that is not the theme of this one. We'll talk about that in a moment. Uh, they are a German team who compete in the DTM and the FIA GT1 World Championship Series, among others. Now this unique livery, which we're going to take a look in detail takes its cue from the Bathurst Wiradiri Aboriginal community of who contributed to the design. And there are actually two animals on each side, the guana on one and the platypus on the other. Uh, this was the first time that a race car from Australia indigenous livery has ever been used in an international motorsport event. Now, if you take a look here, you're going to see there were three drivers. Marcus Winkelhaut of Germany, Audi factory driver. Lawrence Van Tour of Belgium, also an Audi factory driver and Alex Davison of Australia, who is a local amateur gentleman driver. Now, guys, a close look at this car, and it's everything you'd expect from Spark. Good quality, solidly built, paint and finish are excellent, decals well done and well applied, and, and I got to tell you, this, this really is, this is a remarkably cool model. Now, I'm just going to spin it around here. First, like you, let you take a look at the front of it. And all that attention to detail you expect from Spark, you get. I mean, look at the grill, plastic headlights, very nicely done. Paint finish, excellent. Zoom up a little bit. And you can see in the cockpit. And the cockpit details are really quite nice, even though they're hard to see from this particular angle. Now on the bottom, you see it says Terra Australia. And on this side, which I guess would be the passenger side, this is the platypus, which is the most important dreaming story in the area. And that is featured on this side of the car. And you can clearly see that there. And we take a look. We'll try to get a look into the cockpit. Kind of hard to see. You see a nice area. Got the names of the drivers on the side. But the platypus distinctively stands out on this side. Now, one thing I really like about the Audi R8 is the rear. I think it's gorgeous with the two tailpipes sticking out. Nice plastic lights. And you got a little diffuser on there, but most importantly, you get good engine detail. And guys, I want to tell you, they did a really good job with this one. It is really, really sharp. I'm trying to pull it around here so you can see the Audi logos and everything on it. I mean, just really, really nicely done. Nice big rear wing, as you'd expect with a Spark model. And on this, the driver's side of the car, you see the Gowana. And this is the Wiradori people's totem. So that is the significance of the driver's side of the car. So guys, what do you think? Let me know in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. See you next time.